Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwidash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. It is a gift from the Most High. We, being the hopeful elect, have received the most marvelous gift from the Most High, which is the gift of faith. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. Through the grace that the Most High have bestowed upon a selected few men that are scattered upon the planet, all right, they have received the most marvelous gift that our people can receive. And only a selective number of our people have received this marvelous gift, which is faith. And that's the elect. The elect are the only ones that have the faith that a Messiah is coming to save us, first from ourselves, secondly from the Most High Sword, which come in the form of the Most High putting the Spirit upon Esau Edom to bring about race riots, all right, the RFID chip, concentration camps, all right, and ultimately the sword of the Most High is going to be 200 million missiles, and through faith, the elect, Lord willing, we be a part of that number, that's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect, because we have that faith of being the elect, and being those that are saved out of this total destruction that I speak about, Ephesians 2 and 8, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, so any carnal thing that we could do can't save us, all right? We need that spiritual glue, which is faith that shall keep us together, and that faith is keeping us together, which is that spiritual glue. It says it is the gift of the Most High, and the Most High have given us this gift, all right? All gifts, as the scripture says, come from the Most High. This is James 1 and 17. And it says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So the Most High have given us that good gift, which is faith, that perfect gift, which is faith, that spiritual glue that shall hold us together. All right? And the scripture says, and they come down from the Father of lights, which is the Father of spirits, with whom is no variableness. All right? The Most High does not change. Okay? Neither shadow of turning. He's the same as he was in the beginning and as he is here in these end times. And he has given his elect. All right? Lord willing, we be a part of that number once again. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. All right, he have given the elect the gift of faith, the ability to believe. All right, which makes us um, here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elders. All right, messianic Hebrew Israelites, and I have that word messianic in a simple Google. Messianic. And it says, relating to the Messiah, inspired by hope or belief in a Messiah. All right? So, we have uh, hope or belief in the Messiah, which is Yah Hawashah. Yah meaning he, Hawashah means delivers or saves. And that's our hope, that Yah Hawashah will deliver us, will save us, all right? First from ourselves, and number two, from the Most High Sword, which come in the form of uh, the Most High putting his spirit upon Esau Edom to bring his RFID chip slash NFC chip to bring his um, concentration camps, all right, race riots, okay? And the Most High's ultimate sword is 200 million missiles that shall destroy America. And we are inspired by hope, all right, or belief in Yahweh Shai, which is the Messiah, the Savior, to deliver us from all those things. And in a faithless generation, all right, our people are faithless. We have uh, that perfect, all right, gift, that good gift, which is faith. And that faith that we have once was dead, all right, 
but now it's alive. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 27, For evil shall be put out, and we are living in the times, all right? The wickedness that Esau Edom has um, issued out upon the planet is being, is being uh, put out, all right? That wicked flame is being put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, and we are seeing faith flourish. Brothers are waking up all across the globe, all right, believing in our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, believing in the report of the apostles and the elders. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and that corruption is being overcome by the Most High putting the Spirit upon his men, all right, giving them the gift of faith and them believing in the report and going relaying the report to the people and the truth, all right, which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. And that truth is being declared, all right, through, number one, the apostles and the elders and younger brothers like myself that are like-minded in the spirit of Yahweh Shai through the gift of faith, all right, that truth of the matter. The truth being that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down to you so-called Mexicans, are the Hebrew Israelites. All right, Esau, Edom, which is the so-called modern-day white man, is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. All right, and the, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, which is the so-called modern-day white man, is the Hebrew Edomites, the red Hebrew Edomites of the King James Version. All right, America shall be destroyed by the way of 200 million missiles, and America is spoken of in prophecy being the mystery daughter of Babylon. That's that truth, all right, that is being declared, okay? And it's being declared because faith has been issued to believe the report, all right? Uh, Isaiah 53 and verse 1, it says, Who have believed our report? And how do you believe the report or believe the good news, Okay? Through the, the gift of faith. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? To whom those that the Most High have shown grace to, to give them faith. All right? That's who believe the report. Okay? This is the book of Hebrews. Chapter 11 and verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of... Of things hoped for. All right. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Let's look up this word. Uh, substance. The pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G 5287. Hypostasis. Hypostasis. And the definition says. Thing put under, all right, uh, what I'm looking for, foundation, okay, foundation, confidence, firm trust, assurance, okay, so faith is, is our what, strong confidence, it's our foundation, all right, the scripture says, since we have a clear understanding of substance, now faith is the substance, the foundation of things hoped for, and how do you hope for something? All right, by receiving the gift of faith, the evidence, all right, of things not seen, okay, and through faith, okay, we, we, we have the evidence that the kingdom is on the way. We have uh, the evidence that Yahweh Shai is a so-called modern-day black man that sprang out of the tribe of Judah, and we, and we know these things to be true through faith, all right? Um, the book of... 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And what are the things that are not seen? All right. America being destroyed. Okay. Um, Yahweh Shai coming back to deliver us. Okay. We getting up out of this wicked situation that we're in those are the things that are not seen which are eternal these things that we see are temporal okay now those that believe in temporal things have no real faith all right because 
um, believing in, in, in something is that, that is seen, all right, is not really faith. This is Romans chapter 8 and verse 24. And it reads, For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why do if he yet hope for? And that's right. So the things that we don't see, all right, those are the things that we hope for, all right? And, and, and to hope for things that are not seen, that's real faith. Instead of putting your hope in kernel things, things that are, that are concrete, that's not real faith. It says, verse 25, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience, the capability to suffer, wait for it. And that's the kingdom. That's the downfall of our enemies. That's receiving our new bodies. That's ruling with Yahweh Shai. All right? We, with patience, the capability to suffer, we wait for it. How? Because we first have the faith. All right? And by us having the faith, that gives us the capability to have patience or suffer for something that we have faith in or to wait for it. Okay? And some don't believe. All right? As the scripture said, what if some didn't believe? All right? Because two-thirds of our people don't have the greatest hope upon the planet. Okay? But that doesn't make our faith get weak. Romans 3 and 3, for what if some did not believe? Two-thirds of, of our people don't have the gift of faith. Therefore, they don't have the ability to believe. Shall their unbelief, their incredulity, make the faith of the Most High without effect? No, it doesn't. All right? America's still going to be destroyed. All right? We're still going to de get delivered. We of the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we be a part of the elect. All right? And so forth and so on. Okay, but through faith, we must wait for these things. Okay, through the gift that the Most High have given us. Okay, Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying. All right, we must keep the hope, keep the faith going. All right, Lord willing, we endure unto the end. Shalom and death to America.